I'm kind of glad that's it. They don't work, y'all. Good afternoon, y'all. It is Sunday afternoon. I haven't opened these blinds back here yet today. I just got finished cleaning up from lunch. We just had sandwiches and chips for lunch today, but I'm about to go ahead and start supper because I wanna be able to eat supper before we leave for church tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna do some beans in the Instant Pot. That'll take about two hours and some cornbread, Salisbury steaks, and mashed potatoes. So y'all remember yesterday, just yesterday, it was snowing. Today, I would say it's about 70, maybe. That is the weather they were hoping for for their camp out, but they got winter. Yeah, we've been eating out a lot since Thursday, so I'm ready to cook something today. I mean, I cooked breakfast some, but I haven't been cooking suppers because Thursday we went out to eat. Friday they had the camp out. It was just me, Manly, and Sissy, so we just ate Dairy Queen. And then last night, it was kind of late whenever they got back home. We went to the zoo and everything, you know, yesterday morning. I was going to cook, but we had to go and pick them up because Titus didn't leave his truck down there. He brought his truck back home, and we took him and Jonah down there, you know. So we had to go pick them up. By the time we got back home, it was kind of late. So we just went to Zaxby's and got something last night. We're ready for some home cooking. It's about 1.30 right now. I should have all of this done by 4, and we'll have plenty of time to eat because we don't have to leave here until around 5.30. So we'll have time to eat and clean up before we go. Huh? Is it delicious? Yeah. Oh, it's not delicious. It's good. Titus got a little pack of um, vanilla cake slices and he's eating one of those, so. All right. I'm making pinto beans. Did I tell y'all they were pintos? That's what they are. I put in about two, two pounds, maybe just a little more than two pounds there. And for two pounds of beans, I put around eight to 10 cups of water. It's been a little while since we talked about Instant Pot beans, so. I love to use fat bag, but if I don't have any fat bag, if I don't have any salt pork or anything like that, I use either country ham or bacon. I have here bacon gold, so we're gonna put a little bit of this in there. And if I don't have any of that stuff, I just put salt and pepper. That's it. <laughs> Jonah wants me to try this. I've never been good at these. Let's see, paddle ball things. Better than me. All right, I got Manly down for his nap. Now I'm just gonna sit out here on the back porch for a minute, look at this magazine. This is one of the ones I got from Ollie's for $1.29. Hey, I can show y'all this real quick because I showed it in a video, but I guess some, it was just like, you know, mixed in with the video and I guess some people missed it. But Titus is finished back here besides staining the porch. We still have to stain it. We've got some screen over there that has to be replaced. But yeah, this is it. It's the same size as the old one. Somebody commented the other day that it was a lot bigger. It's what makes it look bigger is he did a sturdier railing here. The other railing that we had was like probably half the size of this. I can't even remember. It wasn't this wide. And so he just made this more uh, beefy as he calls it. But the deck itself is still the exact same size. Here it is from over here. And he did also change the stairs. They used to go down and then over to the side. So you could like, you could walk down this way or you could walk down that way. But whenever he rebuilt it, he just made the stairs go straight down, which I like this a lot better. It looks a lot wider because he did that and it's not, you know, two separate places you can walk. The lights down there that we got from Lowe's, they don't work y'all. I can see why they were covered in dust and no one was purchasing them. <laughs> At night, there's like a very little bit of a glow going on, uh, which maybe that's all that does is just the little glow. I don't know, but <laughs> I've dealt with solar lights. Like a long time ago, we had some solar lights in front of the house, like kind of going down the 
driveway just a little bit where we park and they worked really really good i mean they would be bright like you could look out and see them these you can't even really see them if you look out the window or anything which i mean who you know it's not something you want to do let me look out the window and look at those lights but you know <laughs> what i'm saying is these are not very bright at all so i'm assuming that's why nobody is buying a lot of them at lowe's but yeah there's a very faint glow but that's it i still like the way they look though down here but i'm not going to get two more for the top since they don't work we're just going to leave these two at the bottom they had other colors, but we got black ones because the things over here are black all down through here. So it matches those, but yeah, they don't work. So if you actually want solar lights to work, don't get those <laughs> unless you just want the glow. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and look at my magazine for a few minutes and then I'll go ahead and go in and get the cornbread made and get everything else going. Jacob asked for cabbage and I do have some cabbage in there. So I'm gonna make some boiled cabbage too. All right, y'all, we got the cornbread in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead now and make the Salisbury steaks. Most of the time I make these in the slow cooker, but today I'm just gonna put them in the oven. So let me go ahead and get my pan ready. So I have almost two and a half pounds of ground beef here. We're gonna put in two eggs, one cup of breadcrumbs, I'm just eyeballing it, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper and you can put onion if you want to. I'm gonna leave the onion out and I'm just gonna put a little bit of onion powder in here. Uh, probably just about half a teaspoon. So that's it, I'm gonna go ahead and let the skillet be warming up. The reason I'm gonna do them in the skillet and not my big griddle, I can do them faster on the griddle, but we're gonna make the gravy in the pan that we cook the Salisbury steaks in. So I'm just gonna use the skillet. Ooh, this is cold. Now we just warmed the patties. Jonah's getting my nine by 13 casserole dish out and I'm just gonna sit it over here. Once the patties get done, we're just going to transfer them over to that while we make the gravy. I think John is singing Christmas music. Are you singing Christmas music? <laughs> it felt Christmassy yesterday. So the original recipe makes four. We're doubling it, so we're going to get eight out of this batch. So we're pretty much just browning these on both sides because they're going to go in the oven to finish cooking the rest of the way. While those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the cabbage, get it going, and then when we get the Salisbury steaks in the oven, we'll peel the potatoes and make the mashed potatoes. You know what, I hope I have enough potatoes though. I didn't think about that. I made um, 12 potatoes, you know, for them to take on the camping trip, and I don't know if I have enough potatoes for mashed potatoes. We have enough, no matter here. I'm just gonna flip these one more time, let them cook for about a minute and a half, and then we'll go ahead and transfer these over to the casserole dish and put the other ones on them. Sorry, this is real loud. Oh, it's smelling good. People will wake up from their Sunday nap with good smells when they go. I'm surprised you're not napping. So we're gonna use beef broth, some of this onion soup mix, some flour, and we might have to add just a little bit of water in here whenever we make the gravy. Sometimes I put in a small can of mushrooms too, but I don't have any this time, so we're leaving them out. I'm kind of glad because I don't really love mushrooms, so <laughs> I gotta check on my cornbread. Oh, it's still good. All right, we're ready to make the gravy. I've got this turned down to low for right now. And I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We'll see how it feels once we start mixing it here. We'll do two more tablespoons of flour. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the can of beef broth. We're gonna pour in the whole can. 
I don't know if I'm gonna put this whole pack of onion soup mix. We'll see. A little more than half of the pack. I don't think I hear Manly waking up. Yeah, I think we are gonna need to put just a little bit of water because that's gonna be pretty thick. About half a cup. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. We're just gonna pour this over the steaks and it's going in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. Jonah and Manly are putting on the after dinner show. Ooh, look at those moves. 